it's, it's not just about retrofuturism before retrofuturism was saved. It's also a comment, a statement about what to do, what, how do we reconcile with the world we're living in because we keep discarding things that we think are disposable, right? How do we, we imagine a world where we could save those materials and turn them into artful forms, you know what I'm saying? How do we reconcile with that reality? How do we move forward as a society that's wired to be consumers? You know what I'm saying? And wired to just think of materials as something in the now and then later not valued anymore, right? Unless it's an antiquity. But what is an antiquity, right? Back to that, your ideas project them into objects, right? And then we just kind of, on an unconscious, collective, like unconscious, conscious collective type of level, we all agree on. Still based in the overall spirit of the narrative, but because of different artists, different spaces, different timelines, they'll keep changing, you know what I mean? So people who miss this will still get the spirit through another show, but they'll never be able to be at this one. And that's that's kind of interesting. It, it's a reminder that all this shit's ephemeral. Everything's ephemeral, you know what I'm saying? So, shouts to Dwight, who's always been holding down the space. Uh, we got a lot of work to do in the future. Hip hop scenes coming out. Blast. It's gonna come like the comments, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, shouts to the homies, everybody who came through. Mad Bombs fell. I'm gonna let all these writers know something. Yo, check it. I'm not gonna kiss your ass for you to come and do a writer for me, bro. Like, it's not my style, you know? I'm gonna do what I do and earn it. And you know what? You do what you gotta do. And if not, then you're the one missing out. You're the one not on top of your game. You're the one, y'all the ones using the elitism to, 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 to keep the wall up. And you should be breaking that wall down. You should be covering shows like this by a non-art school student, by a dude that didn't go to art school, a dude from the streets, who up on hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Was an MC, is an MC, a producer, like, you know what I mean? that has these sensibilities and understands these things. You know what I'm saying? It's dichotomous, but at the end of the day, we all have more than one dimension. So I'm asking y'all writers, like, yo, step up your dimension. Step up your, your understanding that, you know, it's not about who you feel comfortable covering. It should be about discovering shit, straight up. And putting that back out, because that legitimizes your position. So I'm just letting you guys know, you're on my radar. I saw that, you know, there was a lot of absence from certain people in the art world. But that's okay, man. It's only so long you're gonna hold the tide. It's coming.